Good afternoon, honorable judges and professor. We are team from Pushing Middle School, and we are going to give a presentation on a Markov model of the BC food bridge problem. I'm Yuno Ken, and my teammates are Tonoto and Tono Ken. So the problem is from the 201A Singapore International Mathematical Challenge organized by NUS. The problem is from the session three, which is the BC food bridge problem. We consider a long east-west footbridge where two groups of people from each side are heading to the opposite directions. In the following figure, you can see that. So, what is the probability that white 2 collides with black 2 in the following case? First, we divide it into two subcases, where they handle the collision differently. Consider subcase 1. White 2 can only collide with black 2 if we push away black 1, which yields the probability of 1 over 4. For subcase 2, we further divide it into two subcases where they handle the collision differently. White 2 must collide with black 2, which yields a probability of 1 over 4. And in subcase 2, they must not collide, which yields a probability of 0. Therefore, the probability of white 2 collides with black 2 in the following case is 1 over 2. But what is the probability that black 6 collides with white 31? Then more cases have to be listed, and this is harder to calculate. We first introduce some notations. We let P, M, N be the probability that the N person from the west collides with the N person from the east, and we let Q, N be the limiting value of P, M, N. In our paper, we are going to calculate P, M, N for all M and N, and calculate Q, N for all N. We first attack the problem by some by Monte Carlo algorithm. We attack it by randomizing every process and estimate the numerical value of Q, N. We can see that the Q, N have a decreasing trend. We are going to apply Markov chain to the PC food bridge problem. We define the, the co configuration of people from the east as states, and the movement of people can be interpreted as state changing. For each person, if he is on the upper lane, we denote it by the digit 1, and for when he is on the bottom lane, we denote it by 0. So in this case, there will be 110 in binary and 6 in decimal. So for every state with three people, we could transfer it into a decimal number by this following table. We are going to introduce the Vn, be the collision factor, which the ith entry represents the probability that a person from the left, left collides with the black n in state i. So these two, these two cases will contribute to the sixth entry in free free. We let Ln be the initial factor, which the ith entry represents the probability that state i occur after the first n minus 1 people from the left passes or n people from the right. So the probability distribution of states were, uh, will change when m increases. We let s n be the Markov matrix encoding the probability of transition between each state. And we could find p, m, n by the following formula. We first find the matrix s n factor v l by exhaustion. For in each input state, we simulate the movement of a person from the left and enumerate all possible outcomes of its movement. A tree diagram can be formed to help us to understand this. The transition matrix can then be formed. And the collision factor can be formed in a similar way. The initial factor L can be trivial form as all states have equal probabilities to occur in the beginning. And we have ways to calculate PMN now. But it takes a long time to compute the transition matrix and the collision factor. So we are going to use another method to compute it faster, which is by expansion. By observating pattern, we find ways to form each component by expansion for smaller component. We are going to introduce an expansion rule by some demonstration. The transition matrix S3 can be formed by from, from S2. We first divide them into parts, and we see that for each parts, they follow the rules uh, in the below. And we, there is a similar expansion rule for the factor V also. We define them into parts, and they follow the rules. And the initial factor L is just a factor filled with 1 over 2 to the power of n. So we could find all the required components for the following equation in a quick way. Until now, we have only considered the case where the people on the bridge enter each lane and handle each collision with equal probability. So we are going to move on to an extension, which is to investigate all the varying probability. First, we denote two, two new notations. We let sigma be the probability that people from both sides enter the footbridge on the upper lane. And we let rho n be the probability that the nth person from the east remains on the original lane in a collision. So this is two cases where the left side is rho n, the right side is 1 minus rho n. So we have derived the general expansion rule by the original expansion rule by introducing the sigma and rho n into it. 
And this is the general expansion roof of the, the collision factor, and this is for the initial factor. As we finish with calculating P, M, N for all M and N, we are going to calculate Q, N for all N by ergodic theory. We fit the VC footbridge problem into a Markov model so we can apply ergodic theory into it to aid us. For a regular Markov matrix P and a stationary probability factor pi, P pi is equal to pi. And for a transition matrix P of a regular chain, it's approached a limiting matrix with all columns be the same factor pi. To apply ergodic theory to the problem, we have to first prove the Markov chain in the problem is a regular Markov chain. To do this, we prove that Sn is irreducible. We propose the following proof, uh, which is a constructive algorithm with n step, which, n, which each state can change to any arbitrary state in n steps. And we could compute the limiting value by the following equation, qn equals to vn times pi n. And we use the following results. So we have solved the generalized PC for bridge problem by now, and we are going to move on to our own created extension, which is to calculate the expected number of collisions. We want to find the expected number of collisions of back end when n people from the left pass through. The expected number of collisions of back end can be calculated as follows. But by properties of Markov matrices, one is an eigenvalue of Sn, hence geometric sum is not applicable. We have to find ways to find the expected number faster, so we are going to apply Jordan decomposition as some Sn are not diagonalizable. The expected number of collision can be found in the reform formula on the below. We can use Jordan decomposition by exhaustion, but we have ways to find it faster, which is by observation of patterns of ion values. We call that S1 equals to this matrix, and the characteristic polynomial, polynomial of S1 is as follows. The eigenvalue of S1 is 1 and row 1. By factorization, the characteristic polynomial of S2 is as follows, and we observe that the eigenvalue of S2 are those of S1 and those of S1 times row 2. We also observe that the eigenvalue of Sn and those of Sn minus 1 follow the similar relation. In our paper, we only prove that the eigenvalue of Sn and Sn minus 1 follow the relation, but we have a new proof to deal with the algebraic multiplicity of eigenvalues. First, we uh, recall that S1 equals to this matrix, and we let them be A, B, C, and D. We could derive the S2 by the general expansion rule, and we could perform some row operation to give an ideal form of the matrix. We divide that into two, into four uh, block matrix, which we call A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. Since B prime is equal to zero, the characteristic polynomial of S two is equals to the determinant of A prime times the determinant of D prime. So the determinant of A prime gives the two eigenvalues of one and row one, and the determinant of D prime gives the other two, uh, two eigenvalues, which is row two and row one, row two. Therefore, the S2 and S1 uh, follow the relation that we want to prove. And performing similar row operation to the matrix Sn minus 1, we can prove the, uh, prove the relations between the eigenvalue of Sn minus 1 and Sn. So we are going to give some examples. For matrix S1, its eigenvalues are 1 and 1 over 2. And for matrix S2, its eigenvalues are as follows. This method also accounts for the algebraic multiplicity of eigenvalues. We have done a lot of work to, to try to grab hold of the geometric multiplicity of the eigenvalue, but sadly, we could not prove that. So we are going to pr propose the following conjecture, which the dimensional of dimensions of ion space with respect to any eigenvalues are always one. Our experimental results told us the conjecture holds, which explains why some of our matrices are not diagonalizable if some of the eigenvalues algebraic multiplicity are larger than one. So in conclusion, we have calculated P, M, N for all M and N by two methods, which is by exhaustion and expansion. We have also investigated an, ex an extension, which is to investigate the varying probability. We have calculated Q, N for all N by ergodic theory. Also, finally, we, we move on to, to investigate the expected number of collisions and reprove the relation of the eigenvalues in Markov matrix. After all, we propose a conjecture for the geometric multiplicity. Uh, we would be pleased that if uh, some insights can be provided uh, for us to how to prove the conjecture. So this is the end of our presentation. Thank you.